This man just had a handover and unfortunately he broke his phone. But since he has spent almost all the salary, a functional low budget phone is needed to help him out. This is Redmi 12 5G. It is looking very classic all that is born in 2023. No in-display fingerprints, no stretcher light or drawer speaker. The slot is located not in the middle but close to the edge. And upon the edge lies the pump out of plastic frame. Activate the screen. What you see is an LCD display with a very limited brightness. Take a closer look, there are some dark zooms around the camera and corners. The bezels are incredibly wide, especially on the bottom half. It isn't that comfortable when sliding through between display, backboard. Moreover, that would leave some nasty stuff such like your dead skin. Back to the screen, Redmi 12 is equipped with a high refresh rate display, which the iPhone 15 does not even have. Although it is only 90Hz, but that is much more generous than Apple already. Secondly, it retains the superb classic 3.5mm earphone interface, so you are no longer limited by just one type of earphone. And it could also be your infrared remote, controlling your aircon, media box or TV, no problem at all. Nowadays, manufacturers are all competing on cameras, which is for him, not a big matter. Photograph, leave it to the professional ones. As for the phone camera, as long as it is scanning the QR codes, will be quite enough for him. If somehow it could take photos, that would be better than just enough. The poor camera configuration on Redmi 12 seems perfectly matched to his expectation. This three lens looks quite advanced, right? But actually, this one just a flashlight, and this is a depth sensor. What a clever design to fake a three camera system. How about the photo quality? Well, it is acceptable at daytime, but not ideal in a dark environment. Preserving details in color and highlight ratio environments is the shortage of it. Switch to 50 million pixels, the analytical power is a bit surprising as sunny days. Since he's broke, he needs to save every penny even on transportation. For example, taking subway by using an NFC card. With the support of NFC, not only can you enjoy discounts on transfers, but you also don't need to carry a physical card. This is a function that expensive phones means to have, but for this $130 phone, mm, that is like an extra bonus. Inside the office, he will spend most of the time on computer and very less on phone. But of course, there will be no issue if you need to send a message or answer a call anytime. However, unlike the previous MIUI, you can no longer run the mutable instance, which is a big missing. As the clock strikes 12, it is his time to relax. Make a lunch delivery on phone, play a couple of rounds of a game, but not a Genshin Impact because it is demanding too much hardware performance, which is lack on this phone. The others will be totally fine. Don't want to bother your colleagues? Go in and fetch a century old 3.5mm earphone and plug in. Why don't we play with the speaker? Because this single speaker produces neither stereo nor good sound quality, and it isn't even not loud enough by comparing with others. But if you are just browsing TikTok vertically, the sound quality won't matter at all. During the off days, his schedule is also fully occupied. Walk, drink, and look. Walk means city walk. That requires two things, navigation and battery life. Although in a city like ours where it has a very complex terrain, your navigation can still perform at an average level. But the battery life is quite different from his expectation. I don't know if it's because he didn't clear the backstage or the battery is just simply not durable, the same 5000mAh battery, it is much shorter than the previous Redmi phones we tested. Drink requires much simpler, because the phone is normally not needed unless he needs to pay the bill. And look is easy to accomplish, although it is a bit unsatisfying to watch video or read articles with low brightness and no HDR. Although he's not a very wealthy man, he is still devoted to improving his life quality. As a young man living in 21st century, online shopping is the basic surviving skill, and a Redmi 12 can of course help him to do that, although he has to wait a little bit longer to open the app. And it is a bit lucky when switching with different shopping apps for comparison. 
The 5 minutes shopping process on a stronger phone might take 6 or 7 minutes to complete on Redmi 12. For now, that seems not a big deal. But don't forget that the latency might increase a lot with time. So is it worth buying? Or who are the target customer of this phone? Maybe a hard worker just like him, who will be busy on his work for most of the time. Or maybe who wants to spend less budget on a firm, which also has a quantified product experience and basic warranty. Switching from a flagship phone to this one is definitely comes with some capability differential. But if you don't really demand a powerful flagship phone, this can also accomplish your daily requirements. Besides, using an NFC card when taking Subway is so convenient. Save a bit by picking up again your 3.5mm old earphones instead of buying a new wireless one. And save a bit by utilizing the infrared remote on phone if you lost the actual one. Considering all these benefits, why can't we accept it's a little latency? Redmi 12 5G, we gave 6.25 points as it is a subjective overall score. It is in the worth buying zone.